if you have an online store and want your users to be able to try their orders on it, then this video is for you. Because in it, I'm going to show you how you can create order tracking page in WooCommerce. If this is what you want, then keep watching. Hello guys, this is Swadik here at Digo Pages Web, where I do web tutorials just like this one. So if you are new here, consider subscribing. That said, let's jump into the video. To get started, the first thing I do is create a page for the order tracking. And to do that, I point on new, then I go ahead and click on page. You can equally go to the back end and create a page from there. Under title, I enter the title of my page, which is going to be order tracking. Next, I'm going to enter a short code for order tracking right here. So how can we get the short code? I go over to Google. Then I search for WooCommerce short codes. I will just choose the first link. Scrolling down. I have order tracking right here. And this is a short code I'm going to use. I'll just go ahead and copy it. I exit from here. And I'm going to insert a short code blog. So I click on the plus icon right here. That is add blog. I search for short code. I have short code widget right here. I select it. Then I go ahead and paste in the short code I've copied. All is set. I click on publish and publish. Now it is published. Let's take a look. I click on view page. And this is how our order tracking page is going to look like. So your customers simply need to enter their order ID as well as their billing email in order to track their orders. I'll open the website in a new private window. Now I've opened my website in a new private window and you notice that there's nowhere we have access to the order tracking page. So let me show you how you can add it to the menu of your website. You can also decide to add it to the footer of your website. Either way, it will take your customers there. So to add the order tracking page to my menu, I go to the back end of my website. Then I hover on appearance, click on menus. Under select a menu to edit, I drop down the arrow and I'm going to add it to the secondary menu. So I select it, then I click on select. I have it right here. And then under add menu items, you see that I have order tracking right here. If you cannot find it here, you can easily go over to view all. Then you can go ahead and search for it. Or simply go to over to search. Then you search for the particular page you are looking for like this. So you are only going to be doing this if you cannot see it under most recent. So I just select it. Then I click on add to menu. You can rearrange it whichever way you want, like this, but I want it to be at the far end. All is set, I click on save menu. Now if I go back to the now if I go back to the website in new now if I go back to the website in new incognito window and refresh, you see that I now have the link order tracking as part of my menu. So with this, users can easily have access to the page. Now let's see how it works in action. So I'm going to go ahead and purchase a product. We're going down. I'll just add this one to the cart. It is added. If I scroll up, I can easily go ahead and check out. I enter in my billing details. I've entered my billing details. I'll just go ahead and click on place order. Thank you, your order has been received. And right here, I have my order ID. I'll just go ahead and copy it. Now, let me go ahead and track the order as a customer. I click on order tracking. In here, I enter my order ID and then my billing email. Then I click on track. And you see that order number 4422 was placed on this date and is currently processing. So at the moment, my order is being processed by the owner of the website. 
Let me go back to the backend as an administrator. Now if I go over to WooCommerce then I click on orders. I have that particular order right here and you see that it's still processing. I'll just go ahead and select it. Then under order status, I drop down an arrow. Then maybe I want to set it as pending payment. Then I click on update since the client is using a cash on delivery method. So now if I go over to the incognito window as a client, I'll simply go ahead and refresh the page. And you see that it has changed from processing to pending payments. Now let me set the order as completed. So I just go over to status, then I set it to completed, click on update. Going back to the incognito website, if I go ahead and refresh, continue, pending payment will not change to completed. Awesome. So that's it on how you can create order tracking pay for your online store in order to enable your customers easily track their orders. Now, if you want to be able to add order delivery date and time for your online store, stick around to watch this video on your screen right now. Keep watching and I'll see you there.